first thing I'll look at here is her lip attachment and it's right down just in front of her teeth and her lip flares way easily up to her nose so even though it's attached low I don't think it's an issue as far as degree of tight and I predict that her jaw the gums and the teeth will grow down past where this is and that attachment will stay up there mm -hmm. now when I look at her bottom front teeth the two middle ones toe in toward each other and that's from her thumb pressure pushing back against them now I'm gonna tip her chin up a little bit now bite your teeth down that a girl close them close your teeth now hold them don't move that a girl that's perfect when she bites, her bottom front teeth do not touch her top front teeth. That's called an open bite, and hers is pronounced, and it's from thumb pressure. Mm -hmm. If her tongue was creating the open bite, the bottom teeth would be flared out. So I know she's not pushing against her teeth with her tongue, which tells me her tongue is not totally yeah, anchored. Okay. So now open really big. Open your mouth really, really big, really big, yes. And when she opens, her tongue has a nice hump to it. If it had a significant tie, there'd be a dimple somewhere in the middle of her tongue. She okay. does not have that. Now, when I pick her tongue up, I'll come on in so you can see kind of from here. Oh, that's excellent. When I lift without much tension, we can create where her frenum is mm -hmm. and it's moderately loose but it's still there and I would bet that when she was younger it was much tighter that gave you the breastfeeding issues that you shared so that could use some freedom so we'll loosen it up and, and give it another 30 or 40 percent degree of mobility okay great